Jason, Derek was talking at shoot around this morning about how he wanted to be aggressive and he went out there and scored the first seven points. What kind of things did you see him doing? What kind of things were you guys telling him just to kind of get him out of that funk he was in? Um, just to be himself. Um, you know, obviously we knew that how important this game was. Um, and everybody just had to come out with a different sense of urgency to um, start the game on both ends of the floor. Rob was talking about just trying to make him feel comfortable in Boston. Have you kind of noticed at times just him, you know, being passive and just being tentative since he got here? And, you know, in what ways do you just try to encourage a guy like that? Uh, obviously, you know, Rob been dealing with some knee things. Um, so just um, keeping him, his spirits lifted and his confidence high and everybody just being there for him because um, we know how hard he works um, and, how bad he wants to, you know, be out there to help us. And obviously, you know, how much we need him and things like that. Jason, you, uh, when you guys have gotten in trouble in this series, it's been when I always been able to speed you up and get into you and turn the ball over. How, how much of a focus was that coming in tonight to try to take care of the ball? I think you only had three in the first half and none in the second quarter. Uh, yeah, I mean, we had, what, 24 turnovers last game. Um, we really felt like that. Uh, you know, that's why we struggled a lot last game. And that was obviously something that we talked about in film and things like that. Uh, just trying to take care of the ball uh, and be better in that aspect. Jason, what's the last 48 hours been like for you? I mean, you were obviously disappointed after your performance in game three. Did, did, did you talk to anybody that you usually don't talk to? Did someone, did people console you? What, what was the last? 40 hours like when you have a game like that? Uh, I mean, right after it's tough, right? Uh, frustrated how you play, you know, knowing that, you know, how important this time of the year is and feeling like you let you, your teammates down, especially, you know, we, we lost, lost by like six. Um, but I think I do a really good job of, uh, you know, after I sleep it off, regardless if I have 10 points or 46 points, the next day is, um, the next day and whatever happened, happened. Um, I'm a big believer. You can't change what happened. Uh, so, you know, the last 40 hours have been cool, but I watched some basketball, ate, you know, it's just a normal day. Uh, you know, obviously I was ready to get back to play, but, you know, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't doubt myself. You know, I know how to play basketball and uh, regardless of how many points I scored, just trying to come out and help us get a win. You know, that was just most important. Jason, how much does Ime have to do with you guys being able to bounce back like this? And just the, you guys seem to really have a great deal of trust in him. What is it about him that, that gives you that trust in him? Uh, I think just building a relationship, you know, throughout the season and the ups and downs that we've had, um, that all brought us uh, a lot closer and, uh, you know, just grinding it out. Everybody stuck with each other throughout the season, even in those tough times early on. And even when we lose games, uh, you know, he does a really good job of just, uh, you know, obviously, you know, telling us what we did wrong and what we need to do better. But, uh, you know, making sure everybody believes in ourselves and the group um, and getting ready for the next one. His directness and his transparency, is that, I mean, that's been here from the beginning. Do you like that consistency when... Uh, yeah, he holds everybody accountable uh, from the top to the bottom and, uh, you know, open door policy, you know, uh, you know, do the same with, with him and the coaches. And I think that just great for the group and what we're trying to accomplish. Hey, Jason, you were 14 for 16 from the line. Uh, how much of that was just the flow of the game and how much of that was a focus in your part just to get to the line? Uh, I think just being aggressive, right? Obviously from last game, whether it was for myself, teammates on the defensive end, just um, have a different burst of energy for myself. Um, and it led to, you know, free throws and find other guys for open shots and things like that. Jason, how do you, how do you bring the same sense of urgency to game five that you did uh, to get this game after, after a loss like the last one? Um, I think, uh, obviously, it's 2-2, two -two, so it's kind of like a new series, best of three. And I think just having a conversation that, um, 
you know, I think human nature plays a part in when you win a game, you can relax a little bit. Uh, but, you know, obviously when we lose a game, you know, we feel like the next game is do or die. And then we come out and play how we did and things like that. And I think we have to have that mindset going into game five that, you know, it is a must win game, you know, because tonight was essentially something like that. And, you know, everybody knew it. We could all feel it. And I think that showed in the way we came out. You start out with an 18 to one lead, and yet you know the game is not going to be over just in the nature of the way this series is. How do you keep that intensity so early in the game when you're up so big and you know that Miami could push back? That is, is you know, these playoff games are extremely long. Um, and they're a really good team. And, you know, we was down 21 the other day. We cut it to one. Uh, so, you know, we know that you can't let up, you know, to, it's just, you know, the buzzer is out. Because, uh, you know, they're, they hit shots in the fourth quarter. They start hitting threes. Uh, so you never want to take your foot off the gas, especially in a playoff game. Jason, ball security, rebounding, physicality, are those adjustments or is it just a matter of effort and urgency? Uh, urgency. Um, that was uh, a focal point coming into this game was just, you know, have a sense of urgency on both ends of the floor uh, from start to finish. Really starting the game better, obviously, than we did last game. Uh, and that's something that we talked about and something that we executed uh, tonight. And then just... For you, as many minutes as you've been playing, how nice was it to get some time off in the fourth quarter tonight? Uh, it was extremely nice, uh, especially because we was winning. Thank you, Jason.